I'll, I'll tell you the plays. I didn't see them um, that closely, but that can't happen. I mean, we got to be more disciplined and find a way to not um, do that. You know, for light and secondary it's coming in and lose those guys obviously didn't help the matter. But we've got to talk about it. We got to practice it. We got to be better. Coach, obviously, uh, McLean uh, went down. It looked like something with his leg. Uh, have you heard anything new about him? I haven't. I haven't. Uh, the trainers gave me a brief update, but. Cliff, how will you approach the quarterbacks going forward back here on your left? Um, how will you approach the quarterbacks going in next week if McLean is not available? And how difficult is a loss like this on the side of this team? Uh, we'll continue to uh, rep both guys. The good news is they got a ton of reps through spring, through fall camp. Uh, both understand the offense. Uh, so we'll get those two guys ready to play. I'm not sure how we go reps-wise, who will get what, but uh, they'll both get a ton of reps this week. Coach Van Over here. Uh, you, you, all, you decided to go with Al Bowman as the second string quarterback over Jet Duffy. What went into that decision, and what have you seen from Bowman this far? Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things. I think both guys can get it done. Um, there's a comfort level with our offense right now that I felt like Bowman could, Bowman could execute it. Um, but we were going to get a bunch of man coverage. He'd be able to kind of see one read and get it there. And, uh, so that, that was really what it came down to. But we have faith in both guys. Cliff, um, what was a knee or ankle on McLean? Ankle. And since since we did not see uh, Chet, and since he was based on that, I guess, third quarterback, can we assume he didn't get a lot of game prep reps this week since most of them would have gone to McLean and Allen? Uh, he got equal amounts to, to Allen. We kept both of those guys involved and repping a ton. Um, so like I said, we feel like they're both game ready. It was just a matter of feel at that point. Cliff, it seemed like right here in the center, it seemed like that third quarter Bowman really started to get into a rhythm. What difference did you see from him there? I think just, you know, getting the nerves out, going in halftime, talking it over, understanding what we were trying to accomplish with him. Um, true freshman, first game, that type of atmosphere. It just took a while, I think, for him to settle in. But I was proud of how he protected the football. That's what we asked him to do, protect the ball. Um, had led some nice drives couple we'd like to have back, but um, I thought overall, you know, he handled himself well. Coach, uh, over 50 D1 recruits here in attendance. Let's talk about, uh, you know, getting players out to see Texas Tech football in person where maybe they might not have been able to. Yeah, it was, it was obviously a great <clears throat> showcase for our program to uh, have this game and then be in Houston, how better recruiting that it is, have this game publicized for that many months. Um, so I think uh, you got to see that as a positive. Coach, you weren't able to back here. You weren't able to tempo as much as your offense usually likes to. How difficult is that with the comfort level that this offense has right now? Um, you know, I thought we did some good things tempo wise in the second half, but early, I just get in a rhythm. You know, um, having a younger quarterback trying to get a feel for him and, and what he could handle at that point uh, took a while. But I thought the second half, start of the second half, um, he, he felt more comfortable when we were able to push the tempo a little bit. So we'll, we'll see where it goes from here. Coach, we uh, we saw more of right here in the front row. We uh, we saw more of uh, Trey and Demarcus in the the fourth quarter. Um, was that just to give them some game reps or? Is yeah, to make sure Ward uh, um, was okay. You know, they're late uh, down three or four scores. Wanted to make sure that, that Ward was uh, got out of the game clean, and uh, he's obviously gonna have an important role moving forward. Coach, you're in the middle again. Um, you know, Alan Bowman's only been on campus a couple months, obviously, through the spring. Uh, you know, what has he showed you in that amount of time, and what made you think that he was maybe ready to contribute right away? Played in a similar offense in high school and, and understands our concepts and, and getting the ball out quick, making quick decisions. And I felt like, like I said, as the game was going, um, that's what we needed, somebody not to hold on to the football, make quick decisions, get it to our receivers. And, um, so that's where I went with him. What did you think about that catch that um – um, that Basher made for you um, to set up that first touchdown? Yeah, that was a tremendous catch. He's, he's come a long way. Uh, we got to continue to find uh, ways to get him the ball. You know, I wish he could have finished that one there at the end, but um, he, he's done a nice job in fall camp, and so hopefully he continues to evolve. Cliff, front row. 
Uh, what was your impression of Ole Miss on both sides of the ball, and were there any surprises there? Uh, I, I don't think so. You know, they're, they're a talent. Obviously, offensively, they have a bunch of NFL wideouts. Um, their line did a nice job. Quarterback protected the football, moves around, extended plays. He was on with his deep ball. Um, so I was very impressed by that. Phil always has a good scheme. And defensively, you know, they play hard, mix things up a bunch. And, um, you know, kept us out of the end zone on some of those drives from playing hard. And, so you, you got to respect that. Cliff, uh, what makes their receiver group so difficult to handle? Uh, I mean, they're just physical, athletic, uh, big time guys. You know, they're all three playing in the NFL. And, um, obviously, they're well, well coached. They put them in positions to be successful. And, and uh, so that's a, a recipe for a really good offense. Cliff, kind of a two part question here. One, what did you think of Ole Miss's run defense, especially in comparison perhaps to what you saw in film? A year ago, and then some of their big strike capability on offense. Did that at all force you out of your plan somewhat, just to maybe get away from the run and to try to, to match it? Yeah, I think late. Uh, obviously, you get down two or three scores in the fourth, you're going to have to change what you do. But I thought uh, you know, they, have, they have some nice pieces inside there for that run defense. And, um, I mentioned earlier, I thought schematically, and 